Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're all here. First thing I want to do is thank the channel members. Thank you guys, I appreciate you more than you know. And thank any of you who've come in here and stumbled across my knife and EDC content. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it worth coming back for. And if you're so inclined, if you get the time, if you'd hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, I'd really appreciate it. So I have had a dopamine level at an all-time low. I am coming off the uh, heels of a snow event here in Alabama that shuts the city down. And this is the first mail delivery I have had in seven days. The mail has not run at my house in seven days. So I've got a few packages here that we're going to go through and take a look at. And they all came. This was in a bag. This is in a box we're going to open. This was in a bag. I didn't know what it was. And this was in a box. We'll start with this. But this is some random stuff. I'll tell you guys, I have other stuff inbound and talk to the post office. And evidently, there are multiple mail trucks out getting caught up, and more deliveries are, they told me, will happen today, which is when I'm filming this, it's Monday. And uh, hopefully, I'll have some more unboxings for you guys tomorrow afternoon. Um, but, anywho, this first box, which is for some reason, is an Amazon find. And it's kind of one of those quirky Amazon finds that I have no idea what we're getting ready to see when we unbox this. But what we have here is a TCZUO. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Titanium alloy. It's basically a folding, uh, you'll see, with steel replacement blades. So I almost thought it was funny. So it looks like it's the same type of packaging, let me see, uh, from that company that I bought this from, but this is Atui, so I know it's a different, at least, brand that they go under, but I swear to you, these are the exact same replacement blades. But guys, what we have here is probably the weirdest thing I've seen. Let me clean up. And since I've already got these blades, I'm going to put that back in the box. All right, guys. So the first thing you'll notice is we've got a little pry daddy there, a little screwdriver, a little flathead. Got a pocket clip. Got this little can opener. And then there's a spring, so... How cool is that, guys? Y'all know what that is? Wah! You won't see me do that with blades in it because I don't play with these things. But, we have to put a blade in it. So this is, it was about 49 bucks at Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down there that if you use it helps the channel but by no means do you have to. You can also go to Amazon and search. I would search T-G-Z-U-O titanium butterfly knife is what I would search or titanium utility knife. That's what I'd search. But I'd use my affiliate link because it's my affiliate link. And it doesn't cost you any more, and it does help the channel. I.e., I get revenue from those purchases. So, I can tell you for sure, these are the same replacement blades that came and shipped with these. They're wins, because when I was doing my, what kind of blades are these investigative series to try to find out, I could not find these blades. I'm guessing and hoping this is a T6, so I don't have to go to my bit, yep. So let's get our get good screw. Let's 
I wonder if both of these have to come out or if this is a one and done. Well, I am curious. No, I'm going to do this. The milling on these screws, I don't know if it's pot metal or if it's stainless steel, but the milling's deep. So, yes, I have to take that off. See the two little catches there that catch that blade? See if it's going to line up and work. I hate magnetized bits. I like magnetized bits when I'm expecting them. I don't like short bits. Real much. So guys, I don't know if this is going to earn the spot of unboxing knife. But I'm going to set it over here. And we're going to use it for the rest of the unboxing. So how about that? We'll test it out. We will retire... Our other one. All right. Put our get good screw back up. Locks in place. Squeeze it. So I guess I hold that side. As long as I hold the side without the... Uh, That's it, guys. That is the uh, little titanium knife. It's got a little pocket clip here. Looks like it go in and out of pocket fine. It doesn't rattle. Got this screwdriver, little pry tip. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll jump ahead to this. Let me see if I can get Tippy to sing her songs to her people outside. And I wanted to come back and see if I'm going to cut myself on TV or if I hold it the way I thought, it will open that way. So, I think I played it with a butterfly knife when I was 13, maybe. Like the other one, this has got wiggle in the blade. Um, they, I think just the design of the little channel and the I guess tolerances between those two little teeth are strong enough to keep the blade from pulling out but be warned you know it's a novelty knife it'll open packages but that blade has more movement than I'd like it's not enough movement that I'm going to send it back for a refund because I think it's a cool little knife and I'll use it but beware if you get interested in something like this So this is a weird order from River's Edge Cutlery that is not a knife. New sticker. More band-aids in a dispenser. Can always use that. River's Edge Cutlery card. My receipt. And... What do I need like another hole in the head? Can you imagine? Yes, I did not need this. I thought it was cool looking. I picked it up. This is the big idea design bit bar line inline driver. Looked kind of small. I thought it might be cool in a bug out bag or in one of my small uh, VanQuest pouches. It comes with these bits, but it holds standard bits. So let's. Uh, Get our job going here. I 
I don't know why my cutting is so off point today, guys. Kind of a weird package. That thick and thin. Let's see what we got here. Nice presentation. And thank you for your support. And the big idea sticker. Throw that over there. Then you got the bit bar driver. I'm just betting in here we've got a few bits. Or a bit. Put this back up. Like that. Get it out of the way. See what kind of bit this is. I'm sure we're not going to use it. Some kind of hex. But what we have here is this little pocketable titanium bit driver. So basically the way I would outfit it is I would put a T6, which I think this is, or is this T8? This might be a T8. And I put Weha bits. I've got a bunch of Weha bits. So it comes with the Phillips, and maybe I'll keep this one more traditional instead of knifey since I've got so many. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get those out. I'll have to read the instructions, but it's very minimalistic, right? So you've got this little package have a little diagram here showing you which way to put the bits in, which I guess is good to know. So let's say we're going to put this one in here. There's a little magnet. Okay, that's so you got a magnet at the bottom. And you got a magnet at the top. I don't know what this is for. Oh, that might just be the detent that. exactly what it is it's a little detent and I guess to keep it closed you want this open end because I guess you keep a bit in there like that and then the other thing kind of cool about this is if you need more torque it's got that magnetic deal I don't know if you could hear that and you've also got a magnet there so again uh, the bit bar or inline bit bar, I guess, is the proper name of this little dude, doodad. Inline bit bar. This is the Stonewash Titanium, I think, from uh, Big Idea Designs. So, yeah, cool. So, that was one of the unboxings. And then we have this little guy. And then we'll get into our boss, Steed. But this little guy is something I picked up from Countycom. I buy shit I don't need there all the time. And I definitely did not need this, but I thought it was cool. And I'm an idiot, so I buy stuff. Maybe it'll be a future giveaway. Maybe it'll be something I think is just the best thing I ever bought. Got some extra O-rings there. So I'll keep all that together. But what we have here, guys, is... I don't know if y'all remember my Marksman unboxing, but when I do packages and stuff, I've got my cool retractable Sharpie. Well, this little guy... Does it screw? I forget. This is a mini Sharpie holder, guys. Titanium mini Sharpie. And you just get the refills... So it's basically, if you wanted to use it as, say, a pill tube or a money stash tube or just some kind of, you know, outdoorsy waterproof tube, you can do that because it's got those uh, O-rings there. But it is made and designed for the mini Sharpies. So if I wanted to touch up my self, uh, 
administered hand tattoo. This is an inside joke. I can touch it up with my little titanium knurled County Com Sharpie. It is called a tie cage 5V KB6. So that was one of our unboxings. And our coolest unboxing has not come yet, guys. This video will go up this afternoon as soon as I'm finished recording it. The cool, cool, cool unboxing that I'm waiting for will be recorded today, but it will not go up until probably tomorrow afternoon. May go up later tonight. Depends on how I feel. I want y'all to be able to see it because it's going to be a banger. But I do not want y'all to, because it's been shared from a channel member and a good friend of mine. But what we have here, guys, is something that showed up in a white envelope. I didn't know what it was. And as you guys know, one of the few companies that I work with, that I support, that I love is Vostede. And they sent me something. And it is a Vostede Dachshund in M390 with a satin blade. So, I've not opened one of these Vostead boxes before. Let's see the best way to do that. I'm just going to open up. What do we got here? And again, this will not be a review, guys. This is just an unboxing. Get a big knife to do a big boy's job without tearing up the box. Oh, a box in a box. This is the first Vostede knife I've seen in person that ships in the little uh, orange case. It's also got a little Vostede car, stay sharp, stay wild. How to maintain, safety guidelines, all the good Vostede stuff. Um, great company, guys. Like I said, I met them at Blade Show 2023. Young man, young lady work in the booth that do their marketing. Super nice people. Um, I've always been a fan of their knives. I've still got several in my collection. I think I've given away most of the ones that have come in from Vostede. But let's take a look at the Dachshund. So we got a knife, we got some extra springs, we got a patch, we got a sticker, and we got the knife. So I have seen this knife, but I have not experienced it. But I'm just looking at it now, because again it's an unboxing, and I can tell you what I really like about it. Personally, and this is all subjective because this is just taste, is I love the colorway. I love the stonewashed thumb studs, stonewashed handles. Looks like more of a satin blade. Titanium clip. Front flipper. Okay. All right, guys, this requires a paper test. I am uh, surprised, smitten. I've never seen a Vostede, and I don't know the price of this, guys, but I've never seen what I would consider ooh, a titanium M390 Vostede. And I'm because I, I never saw the uh, the one that changed names that had the uh, compression style lock, the button compression lock. Guys, this is very slicey from the factory. Great blade shape. Huge fan. I like the look of it. I think it's uh, looks like kind of a, and this is going to sound like an oxymoron, like, like most of my descriptions do. But kind of like a gentleman's folder, went into a bar and bumped into a work knife, had too much to drink, didn't practice what their parents taught them, and they had this little gentleman's work knife. It's thin in the handle and very comfortable. Now it is angular, 
you do feel the edges but they're not hot i feel the clip but it's not hot you got really nice jimping here you have got this plunge terminates gets thin about right there so the sharpening choil is done pretty well could it be done better as they all could or not all of them but most of them you've got this nice swedge here that goes and makes the turn of the tip guys the springs are not hard to pull back the knife is perfectly centered the blade to handle looks a little weird but i think it's because of the way you've got this design i mean it doesn't look weird it just looks like it could possibly be a little longer not that it needs to be again i haven't gotten any measurements because this isn't a review it's just an unboxing but guys just a clean knife the nicest knife i have handled from vostede i don't know anything about the heat treat don't know the price you guys know how i feel about front flippers i fucking hate them well this one works very very well love it or hate it you can't fail it i can't do a reach around because my finger's not long enough but i can reverse finger flick it with ease thumb flick it with ease top flip it with ease usually with one where i stab myself in the hand i can get to that with ease because it's so tall and the other thing I think because I noticed this on the lush too this angle here I don't know if it's just me that it gives me something visually to look at but I'm actuating front flippers much easier now I'm not getting joy warm fuzzies from them but I can tell you I'm getting warm fuzzies from this knife um, the action for an axis style lock the detent to me feels great and the action feels just really well dialed the length is perfect from an EDC standpoint I think again I'll carry this for a week and I'll do a full review on it um, I've got a couple of knives we can look at just for quickies I've only got the banter baby banter and Pure military 2 Microsoft stitch so I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit longer than the bug out, a little bit shorter than the pair of two, but I'm going to call it a full size knife, um, a medium large to full size knife, uh, a good size knife. And let's do this. Let's see me going for that liner lock. I'm such a spaz, guys. By the way, there's not a liner lock. I want to see how it goes in and out of pocket. Nobody's business, and I'm wearing thick ass. 511 uh i think they call them operator pants they've got a really thick hem guys i look forward more than you know to doing a review on this knife to be able to share it with you because what i can see from the initial just seeing it it's the scales of course you've got your weight relief milling right but it looks to me, and we'll have to take it apart, but it looks like they've got this really well-engineered steel insert that you guys know those axis locks have that little area that's kind of all a cage that you take apart when you switch your springs out. But it looks like it's perfectly matched in there into the titanium flush. Um, just beautifully done no side to side no up and down guys it's a great knife feels like a great knife i'll let you know what i think about it after i've had some time to live with it and carry with it and i want to thank vostead for i'm assuming that's who sent it out because it came from an unknown address thank you vostead for sending this out for me to check out and then the Meritech I picked up, I want to say this little guy was right around 49 bucks, and I'll leave a link to Vosti's website. I'll leave a link to Meritech or Countycom where I got this, and I will leave a link to River's Edge Cutlery is where I picked up this little bit bar, so I'll leave a link to that. 
And then, of course, I will, since this was kind of a mega unboxing, and guys, that's an understatement or an overstatement. The mega unboxing's coming, trust me. Um, hopefully, it'll arrive today, and I'll be able to film it today and show it to you guys tomorrow. And then this is my Amazon butterfly knife, my T G. I can't tell if that's a G or a Z. I'll put it on there. Maybe y'all can screenshot it. But I'll put a link to this. It'll be an affiliate link from Amazon. So if you like this knife and think it's cool, and you click on that link, it helps me out. I'd appreciate it. I will tell you, I kind of dig it because I've never had a butterfly knife since I was, like I said, 13. And it's different. And I'm not looking for it for an EDC knife. I'm looking for it for probably a box opener, maybe a channel box opener. I'm going to set it over here. Well, I'm going to set it here now, but then I'm going to set it over next to my others. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you coming by and watching my videos, supporting the channel, finding your way in here, um, hanging out on live streams if you do, just being good people. I love you guys. All I ask is please take a look to your left, make sure the guy or gal over there is doing good, keep an eye out for the guy or gal on your right, make sure they're always good, look out for each other, give each other a hug from time to time, go forward, keep loving your heart, and always choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.